Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my 2021 reading journal. Um, the set up so far, so I've done January's complete set up and I've set up the start of it. So that's what I'm filming. So at the start of my book I have um, how I rate stuff that I've read. So here I have how I am going to rate the books that I read um, and I just have like the rating system and then I have a little note here that I'll use like 2.5, 0.5 and 0.75 ratings for books if they're like that close to like the next rating. rating. Um, and then I have this little, this page here which I don't know if I like the look of it but this is how I annotate and um, so this is pretty much what I annotate so pink is for moments that I love slash cute moments slash awe moments um, orange is like funny and embarrassing purple is for any important information um, any character information and anything to do with the world green is pretty much just for angry moments like moments that make me mad um, blue is pretty much for the sad moments the moments where yeah sad moments when I feel bad for a character and emotional moments that's pretty much blue and then yellow is for shocking or surprising moments and things I weren't expecting to happen and stuff like that and also I use yellow for any mentions in series and stuff so like in the infernal devices and the mortal instruments I use this for like when characters from other series were mentioned and stuff like that so yeah and then light purple is like relatable moments and any quotes and then <laughs> this is actually quite funny so pink is like I want to use for like the moments that I love but this I just put, oh, I'll use light purple for moments that I like. But I don't often use that, I just usually use pink. But that's that was just because I wanted a bit of like a cop out, I guess. So I didn't have to use all the pinks. And then here we've got the 2021 reading journal title page. It's pretty simple. And then I have my A to Z reading challenge page here. Um, so throughout 2021 I'm hoping to read a book with every letter of the alphabet in the title beginning with every letter of the alphabet so that's that and then here is my 2021 reading goals page um, so my goal is to read 60 books in 2021 um, the day I completed my goal is here, just so I can have that date down. Favourite book in 2021. Uh, and then I have like a few little goals here, like to read more thrillers. Th read more thrillers. And then I've got like a checkbox if I do. And then the number of thrillers that I read. Um, and then at lead at least five graphic. Read at least five graphic novels. Number of books annotated in 2021 and total books read in 2021. So, yeah, that's for that. So they're just like a few little goals that I wanna, that I hope to accomplish in 2021. And then here is my buzzwordathon 2021 spread. So we've got every month and then the prompts. Buzzwordathon is hosted by Kayla normally, but she kind of put it out there for like everybody to do if they wanted. So that's that spread. Then I have my most anticipated releases of 2021. So I write them down as they come out, and then I put a little like checkbox for if I've bought them, and then I'm going to highlight them if I've read them. Yeah, and I'll probably do a key somewhere, but. So here I've got my top books to read in 2021. So these are like just books that I wanna get read. 
and then these are like the top 21 books like if I read these ones I'll be happy but well, ideally I'd like to get everything on this page read which is pretty simple and then I have my January um, title page which is a bit of a mess I really just wanted to experiment experiment with this one um, I think the only thing that I'll carry on doing is the flower of the month because I actually like that idea um, yeah my drawing's a bit bad but I like the idea of like doing the month flower and drawing that obviously the title and then I really like the idea of putting the star sign down so in January I only put the Aquarius star sign because that's my birthday star sign my birthday is on the 30th of January so that's why I only did Aquarius but yeah I quite like the idea of putting the star signs there um, so yeah and then here I have my January TBR and I have it split up into sections so like my winter ween TBR and then my buzzword a thon and my just normal TBR so yeah and then I just drew a little wolf on rocks and a moon which didn't turn out great um but yeah and then this post-it note is just like the winter ween prompts so yeah and then this is my days read page so these are the days that I read physically and the days that I read audio just to check track my reading um, of pretty much what I read on what days and then we go on to my books read in January so I'm kind of doing like a colour theme so that like every book that I read is gonna have like a highlighted colour just because I think it looks nicer like that and I love these pastel highlighters so that's like my books read in and this is how like pretty much every month is going to be laid out in my journal and then these are like my books hot hold and yeah the books that I've received in January or books that I've bought myself in January so I don't think I'm going to fit them all on because I know my mum's getting me like some books for my birthday so I don't know maybe I should have put more space here I don't know but if needs be I'll just stick um, another sheet of paper in here somewhere with more books on it if I end up getting more books than this and then here I have a space for my favourite book um, so this is an idea that I got off books with Chloe so either I can print my favourite book off or one thing that I think I'm, I might like to do is draw things that remind me of my favourite book and write a bit about them so I don't exactly know what I'm going to do in this space but I know it's going to be for my favourite book of the month and then I have my monthly stats this is the last thing I do monthly and it just says total pages read that month total books read that month and then my average rating of the month um not um again this was from books with chloe um however the average rating was my idea because i just want to track what i'm rating what my average rating is every month and see how like constant it is and stuff like that so yeah that's that and then that's pretty much the end of that um i do have some stuff at the back so this is at the back and I've got like a whole page um, dedicated to Shadow Hunter series. So these are all the Shadow Hunter series, the Mortal Instruments, and then the books, the Inferno Devices, and then the books, the Dark Artifices, and then the books, the Last Hours, then the books, the Elders Curses, then the books, the Novella Collections, then the books, and the Wicked Powers, which none of them are out yet. Um. And the titles haven't been released, so 
Yep, and then at the back on this other page, I wanted to track where I'm at with reading the Shadow Hunter series because I'm reading it for the first time. So, yeah, I'm currently up to City of Heavenly Fire and I'm just going to track it as I read it. Um, and that's it for my reading journal. Thank you for watching this video and yeah, thank you for watching everybody. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.